Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am in a different setup today because Morten has the house full of guests. He has no less than 10 of his friends from college staying at the house this weekend. So I have retired to the guest room. This is where I am staying the entire weekend. And you may wonder why I didn't just plan something outside of the house during the weekend, but I have so much work I need to kind of catch up on. And then hopefully later today or tomorrow, I'll figure something out and just leave the guys alone for a bit. But um, today I thought I kind of wanted to share my natural everyday makeup look with you guys because you were going crazy about my makeup in my last video. Many of you wrote to me that I was glowing in a whole new way and you wanted to know what kind of blush I was using and all that kind of thing. So I thought, this is kind of the setup that I can do with today since I don't have access to the rest of the house. So I can't really make any fashion related content today. So I know I recently did another makeup guide that kind of reminds, probably reminds you of this look. And I'm also using many of the same products, the same techniques, but hopefully you'll do with this video anyway. So yeah, if you want to see how I do my natural everyday makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by just taking my hair behind my ears. And I'm gonna do my best not to put the mirror in front of the camera, so. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the Organic Mineral Concealer Duo. And first I'm just taking the pink one right here because that one is great at um, neutralizing the blue tones under the eyes. If you saw my um, all natural and plastic free beauty routine video a while back, this is pretty much the same thing I'm doing right now um, as in that video, but I have been kind of implementing some new things that I'm doing to get more of a glow on my skin. So yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy watching this video even though that many of the products are actually the same. Please also excuse these nails. I know it looks hideous. So once I've gone in with the pink concealer, I'm just gonna go in with this one after that. And I'm gonna try not to apply too much because that will just make it crease a lot throughout the day. I kind of like having a light layer of makeup on my skin. As you'll discover, I don't use foundation either because I kind of like when the skin has its natural texture. I'm not a huge fan of pore minimizing primers and things like that. So I try to avoid foundation because I think it makes my pores look even worse. It makes my skin look dry in some areas. And if I have huge pores, it's just gonna look much worse throughout the day. I mean, it will look nice in the beginning of the day, but after four to seven hours, it's just gonna look ugh. So once I'm satisfied with the under eye area, I'm just gonna mix the two of these concealers and conceal around my nose and on my chin. And then I have this smaller concealer brush that I use to conceal all other small blemishes. So you can see that the concealer is more kind of brightening up my skin and evening out my skin tone more than covering it up a lot and making it look super unnatural. So what I like to do now is actually to take the organic mineral powder and apply that all over my face before applying concealer to other needed areas because I've just found that the powder kind of helps the concealer stick better to the skin and if I have some blemishes that are really red and that I really just need to be covered throughout the whole day, it kind of ensures that the concealer stays in place all day. So the way I like to apply this is by kind of working the product into the brush and then build it up. The cool thing about a organic mineral powder is that it kind of melts into your skin. At first it will look a bit powdery, but throughout the day your skin will just look super glowy and it's a great alternative to using foundation. I think your skin looks a lot more natural and healthy with a mineral powder. So 
So now that I have applied the mineral powder all over my face, you can I hope you can kind of tell that it's evened out my skin tone even more. So all I need to do now is kind of go in and cover up all these small blemishes. And um, I'm just using a small concealer brush for that purpose. And um, yeah, speaking of blemishes, I know that my skin probably looks pretty bad right now and it has kind of gone through a period in December where it's just breaking out like crazy and I think it was, you know, bad diet throughout the December. I was eating healthy most of the time but then I was snacking way too much, way too much sugar and also takeaway throughout December. It's definitely not been good on my skin. I actually the other day watched a Danish TV show where to nutritionists, is that what it's called, <laughs> had to help uh, two Danish girls. One had kind of an irritable bowel syndrome kind of thing and the other had severe acne and they had to kind of change their diet to heal them from within and after three months they both experienced such great results. So I'm kind of trying right now to go through my diet to see if there's some things that I can cut away, cut out of my diet to sort of calm down my skin because I've been suffering from acne since I was 16, so that's over 10 years. And I've also been on several different treatments for it. So I'm kind of trying to see if I can heal my skin in a more natural way. Tomorrow there will be a blog post up on my blog where I'm speaking about Veganuary. And if you don't know what that is, you should definitely keep an eye on my blog. But basically that means that I'm gonna try taking my meat-free lifestyle one step further and explore the world of vegan food. And hopefully that will do something great to my skin as well. I really hope so. So once I am satisfied with the base, I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going for an even skin tone and to minimize the appearance of my blemishes. And um, yeah, I'm very satisfied with how my skin looks today. I do have a dry scab right here from a blemish that's just kind of disappearing, but that doesn't matter. Um, so what I like to do after concealing other needed areas, I like to go in with the mineral powder just one more time on some of the areas and tap a light layer of powder on top, just to make sure that the concealer won't slide off my face throughout the day. By the way, I'm sorry that most of these products, basically all of these products that I'm using today probably aren't available where you are because Meal is a Danish brand, so it's only being sold in Denmark and Scandinavia. But if you ever go to Denmark, you should definitely check out this brand and you can purchase it at the shops called Metas. They are all around the country. And other than that, I have linked some alternatives for you guys down below because Luckily, natural makeup and also makeup brands that are kind of exploring the world of creating less and better waste is becoming a trend. So I found some alternatives for you down below so you can check them out instead. If you guys are interested, I have also written a blog post about, you know, your own self image and it will be up on Wednesday next week. And what the blog post is going to discuss is the book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F**k and um, it's basically, I haven't read the book yet but I have it on my sort of virtual bookshelf among my um, audiobooks and I really want to, to listen to it very soon but it's kind of like exploring the world of not striving for perfection. It's kind of exploring and discussing this whole thing that life is not about making lemons into lemonade. It's about digesting the lemons better and, you know, grow into a much stronger person, which I, I haven't even read the book or heard the book yet. And I couldn't agree more with this. So if you're interested in hearing some of my thoughts on self image, also because I keep talking about, especially when I put, put on makeup and talk about hair and makeup and style in general, that, you know, I don't care too much about making things perfect. I like to find myself somewhere in the middle because it's not like I don't care, but I don't want the perfection to take away the joy. So now that I'm done with the base, I'm gonna focus on my eyebrows. And for that, I am using a um, eyeshadow slash eyebrow kit. I like to, some days I like to take the light one and some days I like to take the dark one. It kind of depends on my mood. But basically what I like to do is go in with the light hand. I just like to kind of enhance my brows, especially at the tail because that's where I have 
rather sparse areas and it's just to kind of frame my face. I don't want my face to look too sharp, if that makes sense. And if you want, you can also kind of enhance the brows just right here. And I like to do that very, very lightly. And also focus it on the bottom part of the brow right here. Just to, again, kind of frame the brow and enhance its natural shape. So normally what I would do now is actually set my brows using a soap bar. And I'm going to link the blog post for that down below so you can go check it out if you find that it sounds completely weird but um yeah i'm gonna link that down below so you can check that out but i don't have a soap bar here right now so i'm just gonna leave my brows as they are and do it after filming this video but what i would do next is to set my brows to make sure that they stay in place all day especially since i have rather long brow hairs that kind of tends to drop down throughout the day and especially if i have my hair like this my hair kind of pushes the down the brows downwards so I really like to set my brows so that they are being kept in place all day so what I'm gonna do next is apply mascara and I'm using one from another Danish brand and this one is suitable for people with allergies and con contact lenses so I'm only gonna apply this to the top lashes because I kind of want my eyes to have a lift I, in general, don't really like the way my eyes look whenever I apply eyeshadow and mascara on my bottom lashes because I feel like it kind of drags my eyes downwards and I really like to lift them. So as I've also been rambling on in many of my other videos and blog posts regarding beauty and makeup, I like to let the mascara dry and then once the mascara that's gotten onto my skin, because I always get mascara on my eyelids because my lashes are so long naturally, um, I just let it sit there and let it dry and then I take a dense brush, basically any eyeshadow, small eyeshadow brush you have will do and then I scrape it off once it's dry. So in that way, I won't make extra waste throwing out Q-tips every time I apply makeup. So that's just a tip from me to you. Okay guys, so then my camera just totally died on me and I wasn't aware of it. So for the rest of the makeup look, I'm just gonna explain to you what I did because that is basically the biggest difference in my look from um, the last time I did a makeup tutorial. So I'll just show you what I did in the last few steps. So what I did next was to apply this blush. This is in the color Peach Pellicet. And I really enjoy using a peach colored blush in winter time um, instead of a more pink toned one because my skin is just super pale at the moment. And I feel like when you use a more peach toned blush, it kind of warms up your skin a bit more than a more cool toned pink blush will. So this is what I wore in my last video where you guys were going crazy about my makeup look. And to apply the, br the blush, I like to use a smaller um, blush brush, <laughs> that's such a hard word, to apply that with because then I kind of have more control over where I apply the blush. It's a tip that the girls who made this brand, I follow them on Instagram and they share a lot of great tips, but they shared a tip where they basically mix the highlighter with some natural oil. And this is my homemade face oil. It's a mix of jojoba oil and apricot kernel oil and a few drops of um, tea tree oil. So I just tap on a bit of this with my finger in the areas that I want to highlight and then I put the highlighter on top and that's just gonna make the highlighter stand out much more and make it look much more dewy and blend much more seamlessly into your skin. Sometimes a powder highlighter can kind of make your skin look dry especially if you do have dry skin and that's also what 
made my skin look extra glowy and dewy in my last video. So yeah, that's how I applied the rest of my makeup before my camera died. So back to real time. So now the very last step is actually just to apply a bit of lip balm and I'm just at the moment using a lip balm that I've had for a long time. It's from a brand called Neutrogena. And I actually like to kind of bite my lips from the inside, if that makes sense, to kind of make the blood stream through my lips and make them look more naturally flushed. So this is it. This is the final result, my natural everyday makeup look. On a daily basis, I think it takes around 20 minutes to put on this makeup and to some people that may be a lot, but I really enjoy my time in front of the mirror in the morning. It's kind of a mindful process applying my makeup and I feel like as long as I'm not trying to look perfect, but really just enjoy the process of applying my makeup, of course I like the result as well and I want it to last throughout the entire day, but I'm not seeking something perfect and if my concealer starts creasing throughout the day, I can just touch it up or kind of like push it into place with my finger. Don't know if it's just because I am getting closer to 30 now and I'm feeling much more comfortable in my own skin than I used to just five years ago when I was wearing a lot more makeup than I do today. But anyway, I really like this makeup look and I hope you guys like this video as well. Don't forget, I will link alternatives down below and I will definitely also link all of the same products that I'm using here down below. So if I have some Danish subscribers out there watching, you can definitely check out this brand. Or if you are coming to Denmark and you really want to check out the brand, you have all the information down below. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you all on Wednesday. Bye guys.